A lot of algebra deals with something called the polynomial, and I'm going to try to explain what the polynomial is, and it's actually easier to show examples of it before we define it. So let's look at examples, I'll clarify a few things, and then we'll give a definition of what a polynomial is. So as my example here, I have this thing that says 3x to the 4th plus 22x cubed minus 5x plus 101, and I want to point out uh, some things. Okay, so first of all, you can notice that there are segments in this thing that are separated by plus and minuses. These segments are what I call my terms. So this polynomial here has four terms. Okay, now one type of term is called a constant, and those are the ones that are just a number. So 101 is a constant term in this polynomial. Okay, now the other terms have this x value in it, and that's kind of the unknown thing that we don't know about, and that's called my variable. In a lot of polynomials we use x, but it could just as easily be y or z, and you can even have polynomials that have more than one variable, like xy or xw or whatever you want to say. All right, now in each of these terms it has a, a variable. There is a number being multiplied in front of that variable. Those numbers are called my coefficients. So my coefficients here are the 3, 22, and negative 5. All right, now in particular, if you notice, if you look at my exponents here, I have exponents 4, 3, 1, and if you want to consider an exponent on that constant term, that's a 0. These exponents help me determine how big of a polynomial this is. And so the highest exponent, which in this case is 4, makes this a degree 4 polynomial. So the degree is referencing the highest exponent in your polynomial. Okay, and the coefficient of the term that has the highest degree, in this case 3, is what I call my leading coefficient. So these terms are all very important. All right, so now I want to ask this question, are these polynomials? And if so, what is the degree and leading coefficient of these polynomials? So for A, we have 36x to the 10th power. Is this a polynomial? Does it look like what we dealt with earlier? And the answer is yes. Okay, so it only has one term in it, but that's okay. So that means my degree here is 10, and my leading coefficient, which I'm going to denote LC, is 36. Okay, now this kind of polynomial is, has a special name to it. Since it only has one term, it's called a monomial. Okay, so for part B, I have 22x to the fourth y squared minus 10x cubed y squared. And it'd be tempting to say this is not a polynomial, but it actually is. Yes, it's a polynomial. And it looks different because it has two variables. All right, so to calculate the degrees here, this time we have to take each term, and I need to add the exponents involved. So here I have 4 and 2. That gives me a degree 6 term. Secondly, I have 3 and 2, which gives me a degree 5 term. So my degree in this polynomial is 6, and my leading coefficient then would be 22. Okay, now, like last time, I had a one-term polynomial called a monomial. This time I have a two-term polynomial. It also has a special name, which we call binomial. All right, let's look at part C. So this time I have x cubed plus 7x to the negative 1 power. All right, now we haven't defined what a polynomial is, so it's very easy to say this is a polynomial, but actually it's not a polynomial. Why is it not a polynomial? Because one of the things that we want in a polynomial is for our degrees to be positive. And we also want them to be integers. So if I added a term to this thing, let's say plus 2 fifths x to the 1 half power, even though that looks like a polynomial as well, it's not. Because again, I need integer exponents for a polynomial. All right, so let's look at part D. This time I have 2 thirds x minus 3 fifths z plus y to the 10th. Is this a polynomial? Yes, it is. How do I know that? Well, I have positive exponents. They're all integer exponents. And it's okay to have more than one variable. Remember, that's not a big deal. All right, so if I look at the degree, so my first term, 2 thirds x, is a degree 1. There's a 1 here that we don't see. Minus 3 fifths z has a 1. And y has 10. So it's a degree 10 polynomial, and the leading coefficient is not 2 thirds. Remember, your leading coefficient comes from the term of the highest 
exponent. So that would be a 1. So here you have a 1 times your t y to the 10th. So that's the leading coefficient. Now this also has a special name and you'll do a lot with this type thing in algebra. We have a three term polynomial. This is called a trinomial. Alright, so hopefully this makes some sense, but now we really need, want to know what is a polynomial. Okay, and so more commonly we'll deal with polynomials with one variable in algebra. And we can define a polynomial in the variable x of degree n like this. a sub n x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. Now why do we write it in such a funny way? Well, the a sub n's are all the coefficients. And those coefficients are matched with the exponent or the term of the nth degree. Okay, so this definition will allow us to characterize any polynomial, meaning that every single polynomial encounter can fit this definition. And when we deal with it in general terms like this, we can easily see what the leading coefficient should be and the degree. So if we want a formula on a polynomial, we need to, a lot of times we need to know the leading coefficient and the degree. This definition helps us do that. I hope the definition of a polynomial makes sense. I hope you can identify them. If you have any questions on this, let me know. I'd be glad to help, and thanks for watching.